What's up guys? It has been a long time and I get it. I understand. I haven't put a video out in a while and that's on me. Life's busy. Kids are busy. Everybody's busy. Um, but here I am. So what we're doing today, we are actually disking one of the fields that we are going to turn into a new hay seeding. This was the same field last year that we took the sorghum sedan. So like I said, we're going to turn this into a hay field. Um, I'm using Growmark's Bale Buster in here. I'm also going to be sowing two bushel to the acre of cover crop oats into it. So what does that mean? That means that the first time I take hay off of this, you are, or I'm going to have to turn that into silage because it's got oats in it. My oat silage last year sold really, really well. Um, I actually put a picture of me loading the oat silage out on my Facebook page. Um, a dairy farm from down in Maryland came up and bought all my oat silage. So seemed to go really well. Nutritionally it was there, so got that stuff moving. We're going to do the same thing again. For those who don't watch or know uh, a bunch about farming but want to learn a little bit, cover crops are a good start to that type of conversation. So you're probably asking what is a cover crop? We plant two, two types of cover crops here on our farm. Um, one of them I turn into straw which is my pre-cut pre rye straw. Uh, so rye is a good cover crop. Wheat is a good cover crop. And then the other type of cover crop that we plant here is oats. And I use oats because one, they germinate really quickly, rye does too. But two, um, I've had really good luck with it in the past, so if it's not broke, don't fix it. Simple as that. in uh, John Deere 5125M and I am pulling a very old set of international finishing discs. Um, I did, I know, don't get mad, I did chisel plow this field and I also cold tear disc this field and I didn't film it. I did film the chisel plow. This is going to be fun to pick rocks out of. I am being very sarcastic, but I did not film uh, the use of the cold tear discs. You know, sometimes you just want to mindlessly run around in a tractor and not have to worry about filming. I'm guilty of it. I'm sure you are too. A couple of the updates from uh, the farm in general. One, the garage rehabilitation project is well underway. Hopefully I'll have some footage for you here uh, in the coming weeks on that. We started that project sometime in December. I think it was like middle of December. Um, I have been shooting short and sweet clips for that, but I'm keeping that till the end. So that's been going on for four months now. What else has been going on? We did, we got a farmstead puppy cut to a picture of Marley. Marley joined the family in uh, last week in January, first week in February. She is one cute puppy, but she problem is she knows she's cute. So for my full-time job, she spends pretty much every waking moment with me. So she's a little scared of the tractor. Eventually, I'm sure She'll be sitting in the buddy seat right here, enjoying hours and hours of driving around in circles. But right now, definitely not her cup of tea. Definitely not a fan of the big tractor. I have a problem. Let's go check it out. Oh, just what I need. This one. Spins. 
this one spins. That one spins. I see the problem. See these cleaners? Whoop. See these cleaners? So basically, as stuff comes up, this scrapes the mud off of the discs. This one, whoop, has caught the disc. So that is no bueno. So this disc broke right here. As the age old saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished. Trying to get in front of disc in this field. And we have an issue. And I don't, hold on. I normally don't carry those type of tools with me. So let me put you back in your cradle. So, until I can get that fixed, we are dead in the water. <sighs> Gotta love it. Alright, hopefully we'll get back to it maybe tomorrow. And just like that, we got it fixed. It was a lot easier than I thought. We, uh, well actually, I grabbed the ball peen hammer. A large crescent wrench bent some things hit some things back to cook with gasoline I did bring the ball peen hammer and the crescent wrench heading back now gonna try Ooh, some new can't let you have all the goodies in one episode you know Ooh, we're gonna hide that we're gonna hide that but, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here for another, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, see how much we can get done before kids come home from dance, bath time, bed time, get up and repeat. So, stick with us. Back to disking. Think better not pull her up again.
truthfully, I'm pretty happy with the way that this field's turning out. You can definitely use this one more time. No doubt about that one. The further you get down the hill, the more clay is present in the soil, and the harder it is to break up them clay clumps. Probably only about three passes left in the entire field. At least for this go at it. thinking about it there is one more update on the farm so my oldest daughter Nisiana is of the age now where 4-H she's old enough to do 4-H so this year we have a market goat and that market goat's name is Chester and Nisiana is working with that market goat to sell to sell it at our local livestock auction at the end of, well, it's actually the first week in August. So hopefully we'll get some cool videos of this summer of Nisiana working with Chester. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for her to, to partake in 4-H. It's a good organization and it teaches the kids a lot. So, well, like I said, we got one more pass right here. We are done for the evening. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, once again, I apologize for not making the videos as, mu as much as I have been in the past. Just life in general has been busy. Um, we are probably, if I had to guess, somewhere in the ballpark of about four weeks out from the start of hay season. So we got rye to knock down. We got tons of hay to knock down. So. Make sure you're following along, click that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell so you get notified of the next video from Rocky Acres. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one.